All right, thank you, Sarah. You know what that music means right there. All of us right here on Brightside want to pass along some of our favorite holiday recipes. You know, we started last week and uh, have already had some, some dressing from Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I refuse to say. <laughs> that's stuffing dressing. That's the, it's dressing. <laughs> I made pumpkin rum cake, and Aaron made hema, a traditional Armenian dish. So, so Jenny, I'm going to pass the baton, if you will. To all right, that. it is my turn, and I'm all about the hearty foods okay. that are easy to make. And who doesn't love mac and cheese? Give I it call to this me. my hacked mac and cheese. Before you start cooking, always good to pour yourself a cocktail. This is a nice fall cocktail, an apple cider mimosa. This is my hacked mac and cheese. It's super easy and you'll be able to make it super quick if you're going to a party or you just want a fun family dish. All right, basically here are the ingredients you need. A box of mac and cheese. I got two bags of shredded cheese, BOGO, always a good plan. I'm gonna add some jalapenos, bacon, and some crushed crackers on top, but the star of this show and the reason it's hacked is this, the Alfredo sauce. This is what brings the whole dish together and makes it super easy. When your noodles are done boiling, you wanna strain them and then rinse them in cold water. That's important because when you go to put together your mac and cheese, you don't want your cheese getting all congealed and mixed together before you bake it. Once you start mixing it together, you put the Alfredo sauce in first, then add in your cheeses, then you wanna add in a little bit of half and half. This keeps it really moist. You can also use milk here. Now I like to add pepper. I don't add salt because the Alfredo sauce already is pretty salty, so you can always add that later. This is where I'm adding in my additional toppings. You don't have to do this. You can bake it just as is by putting cheese on top, but I like the saltiness of the bacon and the spiciness of the jalapenos. So I'm gonna add these and then I'm gonna mix them in, put a little cheese on top, and now put your cracker crumbs right on top of that. Once you've got it all put together, just put it in the oven at 375 degrees for about 30 minutes. Nice and golden brown. And the best part about all of this is getting to share it with someone you love. <laughs> my man said it's my turn uh, to walk into right. the frame. Uh -huh. <laughs> His comment Roger. was not bad. Oh, well. Thanks. <laughs> Better than bad, I guess. Right, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I brought right. some for you guys to try. Oh, okay. As you saw in the piece, I made two different pans Ooh. full because you can always freeze one for later. I am going to a Thanksgiving thing later this week, so I'm going to take mm. my little second thing there. So, yeah, I mean, it's super easy, and it, it stays pretty moist, and that's my mm. hack for mac and cheese. That's good. Alfredo this sauce. Never would have thought about that. I know. Makes that's it so idea. easy. Not yeah. bad. Yeah? <laughs> Not bad. <laughs>